Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm excited to do, it's gonna be a new Will I Buy It? This is my series I post every single Wednesday. I'm gonna chat with you over all the new makeup releases. I have two new eyeshadow palettes to show you also in today's video that are new releases. I do always link my playlist down below. I also have started the community playlist, so any creator who makes a style of video can add theirs. But we have a lot to go through this week, so let's go ahead and get started. So I did wanna say that I filmed this look, it will be coming over to my Instagram, which is March Beauty Word. I posted quite a few of my looks over there, so if you're not following me yet, you should. Also, uh, December 1st, start at my 12 days of giveaways. So I'm gonna be having a giveaway in my Instagram stories every single day for the first 12 days of December, and they are daily giveaways. So the link to enter into the first giveaway will go live at 10 a.m. CST. It will close at 9 a.m. CST the following day, and then the next link for the next prize box will go up at 10 a.m. CST. So it is daily. You have 24 hours to enter. There are gonna be 12 different prize boxes that are gonna be up for grabs every single day on my Instagram. So again, if you're not following me over there, you probably should because there's gonna be a lot of ways to win. And if you guys didn't see it, I'm also doing a YouTube giveaway every single week in one of my videos. And I do have a giveaway that went up in my 100K video. If you guys haven't seen that one yet, I really hope that you will. It's a longer video but I um, kind of take you through my YouTube journey and we do a lot of flashing back there's a lot of videos <laughs> older videos that little clips are in the 100k video it was a true labor of love it was truly like a, a team effort to put that video out there and I'm super proud of it and super proud to look back at you know Samantha who started YouTube in 2015 and then where I am today and who I am today and how I've grown as a person and I think that you can really see that in the video especially with all of these older clips and if you need a laugh like you know I did like the classic thing of I'm talking about a product and then I put it like right up to the camera just like this can you guys see it can you see I was like Wow, I did do that, huh? Of course, there's a giveaway included in that video, so I will link it up in the cards. It will be linked in my description box also, so make sure you go check that one out. Okay, just one more small announcement. One more small announcement is that I do have new merch that is live. I'm so excited. This is my first time that I was able to work with a designer on my merch. I will also link her in the description box. Her name is Danica, and I was referred to her from Britt Clark, and we had such a great time. It was so crazy to be able to give like a little idea of what I wanted, and then she turned it into some amazing designs. So new merch has launched in my Teespring store if you are interested. And in that 100K video, you don't only win um, a box of makeup and beauty and brushes, but you also win a signed copy of any of my novels of your choice and also one piece of merch since new merch did just, did just launch. Okay. Okay. I think that's all we have to say. Okay. All of that will be linked, but let's get started into the new makeup releases. Okay, so like I said, I have two new eyeshadow palettes to show you. If I have anything that I would have mentioned this week and I received it in PR, I'll physically show you the product in here because I feel like that just makes sense. But let's start with what is on my eyes. This is a new eyeshadow palette from Sigma Beauty. This is the Warm Neutrals palette. Okay. <laughs> Okay, as you know, I'm a huge fan of the Sigma Beauty eyeshadow palettes, the Corda Rosa, the Untamed, the Enchanted palette. Like, they are just fabulous. And when I saw the Warm Neutrals was coming out, I got really excited because this is kind of like a revamp, a revamp of their Warm Neutrals Volume 2 that came out years ago. That was like the first eyeshadow palette from Sigma that I was like, wait, I like their eyeshadow palettes too because I always, you know, loved their brushes so much. But they have just gotten better and better. And when I see these 14 pan palettes come out, I just get so excited. So this is the Warm Neutrals. I am going to be having a video. If it's not up yet, it will be coming. Um, I will have a video with this palette and also a couple uh, products from my Ulta Beauty haul. So that will be coming if you want to see one look with this one. And then again, this look is going to be on my Instagram using this palette also. Uh, and I'm just a fan of it. I'm just a fan of it. So I know they were having some really crazy like Black Friday, Cyber Monday deals. And they had a palette vault available. Did anybody grab it? Let me know. This one retails for $49. It does also come with a double-ended brush. They did release um, some new liquid lipstick wearing the shade Suede on my lips today with the Juvia's Place lip liner that I purchased in my latest Ulta haul. They have a new brush set that is available with some brand new brushes in there. Um, so again, I will have a video using some of those brushes too coming up, like trying to use as much from this collection as I can, but I was just really excited to see this. And Sigma keeps saying like they have something exciting coming, and I'm really wondering if they're going into Sephora. 
which would be crazy because they posted something and it was on like this black and white background and it said like exciting news coming soon and it just kind of looked like the Sephora logo and I was like is Sigma gonna go into Sephora because that would be <laughs> that would be pretty awesome but right now this is available on the website I believe it actually launches today December 2nd so it's on the website now you can use my discount code Samantha it's an affiliate code if you're interested in this or any of their other products but again that's what I have on my eyes and then another new eyeshadow palette that launched I didn't even know this was coming when I opened up the package I was like huh what because I kind of you know Holiday time is going to be a rough time. Holiday time is going to be a rough time. I hope that you all are doing okay, no matter what it is you celebrate. But I hope that you're doing okay, because Thanksgiving was kind of a hard holiday for me. And um, I had to take a little break from social media just because, you know, sometimes it gets really overwhelming. <laughs> so I had to take a little bit of a break, and I was, like, missing things left and right. And then this showed up, and I was like, what is this ColourPop? What have we, what, like, what possibly could we have released now? Last week, I had so much ColourPop to talk about. It was crazy. But this is the Fade Into Hue eyeshadow palette. This is a very colorful palette. This, a, a rainbow palette. I mean, this, this is interesting. Um, I feel like it's pretty different from some of the more recent releases that we've been seeing from ColourPop. I do just wonder with how many releases they're coming out with right now. Like, I have to wonder what was supposed to be coming out during their shutdown and, <laughs> and like, what got pushed back till now. I'm just curious how all that went down. It's just fascinating to me. But this palette, you obviously have your different rows of colors. There's mattes, there's shimmers, there are pressed glitters in here. It looks like there's a pressed glitter in almost every single row. Um, not quite every row, but there is pressed glitters in here also. Obviously a bigger palette. This one does retail for $34. Looks like it is still in stock on the website now. It's considered one of their mega palettes. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, thirty. It has 30 shades in this. Um, would I have purchased this myself? No, I don't really go for these colorful types of looks, but I do have something in mind that I want to do with this. So I will have a tutorial coming soon and it's actually not using the purple row. It's also actually not even using the green row. <laughs> what do you guys think I'm going to do? Any guesses? Holla at me. Um, but I would love to know if you picked this one up. Just any of the new releases or the deals in general that ColourPop had because they, they, they had so much going on and um it doesn't seem to be slowing down anytime soon but those are the two new palettes that i received this week and let's keep it rolling with the new releases okay so i'm gonna pull up trend mood on instagram and scoot over <coughs> Woo! really almost fell off the chair there i that would have <laughs> let's start off i haven't even had wine yet i promise you it's 302 i could have wine right now no one would judge me. So let's start with an eyeshadow palette that I was getting quite a few tags on, and this is from Viseart. So once again, last week, was it last, I don't know why last week feels like so long ago. I mean, I do know. I struggled to get out of bed, I struggled to shower. Yes, yes, all those great things. Um, so like last week was like, just a blur, <laughs> yay. I believe it was last week that I talked about their new palettes, and there was one in there that really caught my eye, cool and neutral tones. The amount of tags I was getting on this of people saying like, it's purple and it's neutral. And I was like, oh, man, a purple and a neutral palette. I do really like that. Okay, so this is the Liais Liaison Extension, the Violet. 12 shades with matte shimmers and duochromes. Soon on the website is all I see right now. So that's all of the information that I have at this moment. It is it is quite pretty though. I will say for the Busy Art palettes, I still would be interested in um, one of the other ones, the Petite Four that I was speaking of. That one just really called my attention right away. I mean, I do like the shades in here. I like that you have that mix of the neutrals. The bottom row is like these really bright purples. You have some fun like different kind of pops in there. Um, but I think if I'm gonna be grabbing any palette from Busy Art, it would be um, the, what was it called? The Lilas palette or something like that? The Lilas palette. Okay, I was like, what is that? Is that right? Is that right? It's like, got my phone right in front of me, girl. Just look it up. Um, that is the one that I'm still like, isn't a palette but it looks like elf cosmetics are coming out with some new single shadows these are the liquid metallic eyeshadows by elf cosmetics liquid eyeshadow with high impact metallic finish infused with multi-dimensional metallic pearls pigmented coverage long wearing gel based formula quick drying and five dollars all right, great price tags on all of these. I don't normally go for these types of single shadows a lot though. I will say that I do like the e.l.f. single glitters. I think that those are really nice. I have maybe like three shades, I think, and I don't wear glitter a ton on my eyes, but 
um, I do think that they have some nice ones. So it's like, I wouldn't be against trying this one. I just know I tend to reach for my palettes more. So there's that. And I did just purchase the e.l.f. Putty Blush. You would have seen that in my Ulta haul. It is in one of my Instagram tutorials also that should be up by now. Another so. palette. This one is from Clarity Cosmetics. And it says this is for holiday. This is the VIP Private Party Palette by Clarity. A palette with five shades and different finishes. And it is $32. This is gorgeous. I don't often go for like these bright bold reds I like red I like red with green eyes I think that it's I think it's a pretty look it makes green eyes pop which I have green eyes so that's why like I'm not just trying to like single out only green eyes I'm just saying my eyes are green so a lot of times I like to wear colors that are compliment you know what I'm saying but I don't know something about these reds like this just looks like such a holiday palette like I think like holidays uh, new year's eve parties parties with people in general you know like all those fun things that we're not going to experience in 2020 that is what i think of with this palette but it looks gorgeous i mean 32 dollars i think i might have to pick this one up all right, some other palettes that are releasing this is from Too faced we have from Too faced for the holidays we have that's my jam on the fly eyeshadow palette Let's play on the fly eyeshadow palette. Okay, I'm sensing a theme. Light my fire on the fly eyeshadow palette. And Kitty likes to scratch on the fly. Th this is, that's, those are some interesting names. These are all $27. One is berry jam scented, bubblegum scented, cinnamon heart scented, and also tequila sunrise scented. <laughs> I wouldn't mind a tequila sunrise right now. Minus the tequila though. I don't know. Tequila is not my jam. So these are their smaller palettes like the, why do I always forget the name of that little, I bought it, I know it, it's in my collection. The little tin one that came out last year from Too Faced. <laughs> you know what I wanted to say? You know what I want to say right now? Bread and butter. That makes zero sense. That actually makes no sense. It's the hot buttered rum palette. <sighs> hot buttered rum. Yes, that's what it's like. You know, and I, I just... I mean, I just didn't love it. I didn't love it the way I wanted to love it. it smells good. Hmm, that does smell nice. And it's small. And I feel like I just like should have loved it even more. Um, so I don't know. This one, the one that, like that's my jam with some of the purples in there. Like that's cute. Some of the other ones I just feel like are kind of like, yeah, you know, like I probably have those. But especially because I didn't love hot buttered rum, not bread and butter. I mean, I guess I was kind of close with buttered. Maybe that's where my mind was going. I'm probably not going to get these. Let's just move on. All right, we are not done with the eyeshadow palettes, though. No, no, no. Okay, so next up we have from Give Me Glow Cosmetics. We have the Sweet and Sticky Palette, a neutral palette with six shades, matte and shimmers for $30. And also the Vivid Rose. She is the sister to Vintage Rose. Ten shades, matte and shimmers for $45. Okay. So, actually, the 6 p.m. neutral one, I feel like I'm not as interested in. I know. I don't really know what's happening to me either. That some of these neutral palettes are just not calling my attention like they usually would. <laughs> I don't understand what's happening to me. The other one, the pink and the purple one. I mean, that does look cool. I like the mixture of the pinks and purples. But I feel like there's some other eyeshadow palettes that are kind of calling to me a little bit more. The one from Clarity. Still that one from Viseart. I just got... This big old one from ColourPop. I actually did get a Too Faced palette. I'm not really sure why. Mitch went out to the mail on, I don't know, like Saturday or something. And he came back in. He's like, this was in the mailbox. And it was a package. I could see the tape on it had said Too Faced. And I was like, for me? Really? Like, I looked at the 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 name on the address form. Because I was like, me? Um, so I just thought that was interesting and it's like their, I think it's called the pumpkin spice palette. So I do some PR hauls on my Instagram if you'd ever be interested in what, um, has been sent to me. I do like full PR hauls over there and I do have a little highlight saved if you'd ever want to check it out. But if you'd want any looks, a lot of people, I always ask at the end of my PR hauls, like, what do you want to see the most of? And a lot of people said that Too Faced palette. So I'm going to do some looks with it. Don't you worry. And then another palette, and this is a collaboration. How exciting. This is from Juvia's Place, and they are collaborating with, and I'm so sorry, I'm probably going to mispronounce this, with Yami Angelina. This is a new collaboration. Includes the La Mariposa eyeshadow palette for only $15. That is crazy. Inspired by the people that come from nothing and flourish into something beautiful. 
amazing. Um, we have also some different glosses for $13. Oh my gosh, well, huge congratulations. This looks beautiful, this little six pan palette here. I love that. The artwork on it, I mean, just incredible. I'm not familiar with the collaborator myself, but this is so exciting to collab with Juvia's Place. This is just amazing. Um, so a huge congratulations. I don't know if I would get a ton of use out of the palette myself with the bright yellow and then that blue shade, but I mean, it's still beautiful. It's still very exciting. Definitely want to know your thoughts on this one. And then speaking of collaborations, definitely wanted to include this one in here that my friend Alicia or Kinky Sweat has done a collaboration for the Kinky Sweat and Isom brush set. It's available on Muse Beauty Pro. Oh, this is this is really really cool if you guys are not yet following kinky sweat you definitely should be have we done a collab on youtube i don't know if we've done a collab on youtube but she's come on my podcast and it was such a great time talking to her she is so not only just like talented but she's multi-talented in so many ways not only with uh, her beauty but also with her fitness and her movement journey i just she's like a queen in my eyes and this is so freaking cool. Okay, so the Kinky Sweat and Isom brush set, it is a $161 value, but you can get it for $112. So that's a savings of $49. I'm gonna have it linked down below. You do get face brushes and then also eye brushes. This is this is so cool. A huge congratulations to Alicia. I'm definitely gonna have it linked down below. Have you guys tried um, the Isom brushes? I actually have not yet myself, but these like, okay girl. Okay, girl, I see you. Speaking of brushes, I thought this was just kind of an interesting release. Um, so this is the double-sided towel designed to help taking care of brushes. This is from Sonia G and Beautylish. The front side is 100% cotton. The back is microfiber. After each use, you can wipe your brushes onto the microfiber side. It helps remove the excess oils, bacteria, moisture, and product residue off the brushes. It extends their lifespan and gets the brushes ready for their next use. It's $23. It's going to be available now. Tell me why I'm considering buying this. Tell, tell me why I feel like I need this. Um, you know, keeping brushes clean can be a tricky thing, okay? It can be hard. And not only are you wanting to not, like, reuse your brushes a ton because you want to be taking care of your brushes, but... If you are reusing brushes or even not even just like reusing them but you use a brush one time and you apply it to your face and then you dip that back into your powder product and you go in on your next side with your bronzer your blush whatever it may be that can cause hard pan issues in your products so i've you know i have a lot of hard pan issues with my bronzers and it's like i don't know if it's because i'm truly just going into my bronzer applying going back into my bronzer applying going back into my bronze blind. I don't know if that's what's happening, but especially it just happened with my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. Bronzer was $55. And you know, some people are saying like, could it be because of your brushes? And it's like, I feel like I've really stepped up my brush cleaning game. I really like, I have a system down now um, with like where to put the dirty brushes and then like how often I'm cleaning my brushes and just continually to like cycle through them because you know, guys know, otherwise I would just like keep buying brushes because I have a problem it's like i'm trying so hard but still to have that happen i'm like ah like maybe i do just need something like right there to help me like you know this release was just announced and i'm getting a bunch of tags on it thank you guys i always like get excited when that happens i don't know if that sounds silly but like i get excited okay this is from lawless beauty this is their bio glitter eyeshadow for 14 dollars. a pressed glitter eyeshadow in a soft long wearing formula it gives an iridescent sparkle with minimal fallout i don't know what i was trying to say this is going to be 14 dollars each there's two different shades Okay, so I have been, you guys know, I love Lawless Beauty. I love Annie Lawless. She has been hinting that something new is coming out and each time she would share a photo and be like, okay, guess what's coming out? And I was like, is it a different lipstick? Is it, and, and I noticed she had some sparkle and it looked like she was wearing the baby one palette, but it was like, wait, I don't like, is it sparkle from that palette? Cause the shimmers are really beautiful in there. I wasn't quite sure. So now we have these glitters. Okay, like I said, I don't wear the glitters often I'm very curious about this formula though because of how it says it's this bio glitter. You're supposed to have like this minimal fallout. I just, I feel like Lawless Beauty really puts an emphasis on products that like aren't harmful <laughs> for you. So, you know, sometimes with glitters and pressed glitters, it's not always the best to put it on your eyes. We, we, I mean, we all know that, but I, I don't know. I'm kind of interested in this one just to see what it's like, but they have such good 
uh, eyeshadow palettes. I really enjoyed the Lawless Formula so much. And I don't know, I'm kind of curious that this could be, you know, a topper shade to go along with them. I just, I usually end up buying everything from the brand at some point or the other. Sometimes I don't buy it right away, but down the line, I... I pretty much buy everything from the brand. Right, I saw this next one on the account hotfire.makeup. We have new mini eyeshadow palettes from Urban Decay, and these are available at Ulta Beauty. Quite, this is a collection of mini eyeshadow palettes featuring high pigment, matte metallic, and shimmer shades inspired by iconic elements from the 70s and the from the 70s to the 2000s. I thought it said 70s and 2000s, and I was like, that's an interesting years to choose from. Okay. These are going to be $25 each. All right. So you have a variety of different ones. Okay. I love, this is kind of funny. 1993 boogie soundtrack pop queen. All right. All right. Um, you know, I don't feel like any of them turn my attention super fast. I can probably skip over these. I, I mean, I like Urban Decay palettes, like the Naked Reloaded, such a favorite of mine. I like some of the Naked palettes, the Naked Cherry, the Naked Honey, but something, I don't know, the mini palettes didn't really get to me as much when they did like the mini Born to Run. I didn't really fall in love with those like I thought maybe I would, so I'm probably going to skip on these. All right, speaking of Urban Decay, this product, okay, this product I felt like was talked about months ago and then nothing ever happened with it. And then now it's out or something? I don't know. From Urban Decay, this is available at QVC. It's now available. The Stay Naked Hydromaniac Tinted Glow. A long-wearing tinted glow hydrator with kombucha and marula oil. Medium coverage, fresh-looking glow. It's a weightless, dewy formula. Hits you with hydration of a tinted moisturizer plus the long-lasting medium coverage. This is going to be $29. Okay, so that's that's an interesting because when I'm first like looking at it, it's like tinted glow. I'm like, eh, especially going into the colder months, I kind of go for a little bit more coverage. I'm not doing my tinted moisturizers or my light coverage foundations as much. So I'm like, eh, you know, I don't know. But then it says that it has this medium coverage, which I really like medium coverage. That's kind of an interesting, that's kind of an interesting uh, mix there. I think if this seriously would have been coming out, even though it says medium coverage, I really do think if it was coming out in like March, April, I would have been more excited for it. I probably don't need this product. I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> Colourpop has another new release every year. They do team up with NKLA um, and they come out with uh, a product usually for cats and dogs is usually the type of theme. So we have this duo in Fur Friends Forever for $10. And we have Good Boy and Feline, Feline Good. Feeling Good. I get it. I get what we're doing there. All net profits are donated to the Best Friend Animal Society dedicated to ending the killing of cats and dogs in America shelters. Love that. Um, so these are, are these considered, no, these are the Super Shock Shadows. I was, have they always been Super Shocks? I feel like one year I, I bought it. I don't feel like I did. I, I did buy it, but I was wondering if it was a highlighter. I think it was a super shock shadow, but I actually used it as a highlighter because I'm just like so tricky like that. You never know what I'm going to be up to. Um, but I love this concept. I love that they do this every single year. I like, I think that that's fantastic. Right. What else do we got? I see a new mascara coming from Lancome. This is the dubbed lash Edul mascara. The brush has a curved shape with 360 micro bristles in various sizes to generously coat the lashes while adding a lifting effect. Okay, this is coming December 2nd on the website, January 21st worldwide. I actually do really like Lancome mascaras. They have some really good ones. The Hypnose Drama was truly like one of the first mascaras that I was trying that was so expensive, but I was like, oh my word, this is such a nice mascara. Like that was, that was one of those. And I still have Hypnose Drama in my collection. I think that it's great. So like, would I be against trying this out? Not at all. It looks like it looks good. I like the way the wand looks. Do I need it right now? I did just purchase the lash stash, so I have a lot of mascaras to be using or testing out, but I'd be into trying it. I see a new product coming from NYX. This is to pre order spring online. Okay, this is very confusing. It says pre order 2021 spring online NYX cosmetics, but it'll ship close to December 6th. That's so I'm. I'm not really sure what's going on with this one. That's very strange. But it's also coming to the next trend mood box. So there we go. This is the Marshmallow Smoothing Primer for $17. 10 in 1 Smoothing Super Primer infused with soothing marshmallow root extract for 10 outstanding makeup extending benefits. All right. 
Okay, so for pre-order, we have the Bright Maker for 14, which is a peach tinted primer, the Brow Glue Instant Brow Styler for $8, the Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen for 11. Okay, so it looks like we have some new releases coming up here from NYX. And I don't know if all of this is gonna be in the Trendwood box. It kind of makes it seem like it's just going to be that primer, uh, but maybe it'll be like an e.l.f. takeover box. I know Trendwood has done that a few times. Um, I... I mean, it sounds interesting. I don't know. It's probably not going to be something that I need to like pre-order to make sure that I have, but definitely makes me want to keep an eye on what else is going to be in the next Trimmed Box. Besame is going to be doing a collaboration with Disney, a lot of Disney collabs this year, and they are collaborating with Mary Poppins. Okay. So we have the, Mix the Mrs. Banks set for 35. There is a lipstick and a nail polish and collectible Mary Poppins postcards. There's also the Mary Poppins set for 68 with a translucent powder, a red lipstick, a looks like a cream blush, and a Mary Poppins tote with artwork based on the film, and also the Poppins red lipstick for $25. Okay, so very fun. Um, you know, obviously I do know who Mary Poppins is, and I think I've probably seen the movie at some point in my life, but honestly, like I know the concept of it, and I know she like flies on an umbrella, but that's I, I tend to feel, I feel like I mix up Mary Poppins and Peter Pan. <laughs> now, we've been over this in past videos. Um, I read a lot as a child. I didn't watch a lot of TV. I didn't watch a lot of cartoons. I didn't watch a lot of movies. So sometimes I'm not quite in the know. So Mary Poppins, while I think everything looks really cute, I don't quite have that like, mm, mm, that feel towards it. Speaking of nail polish, Lights Lacquer, this is Kathleen Light's nail polish brand. They have an advent calendar, 12 days of lacquer advent calendar for $70 and you get 12 uh, nail polishes in there, seven exclusive limited edition new mini shades, three treatments, festive nail accessories, and one nail file. That's actually pretty nice. I was just kind of thinking it was all nail polish. Hey, well that sounds pretty cool if you wanted to try something. We've already discussed my love of advent calendars. Uh, I was at Walmart the other day, just buying some groceries, minding my own business, and I saw that they had a wine advent calendar. <laughs> you know that I stopped and looked at it, but it was all red wine. And I was like, okay, that's fine. So I didn't buy it. And also from a light lacquer, in addition to the advent calendar, we have the new festive collection. I'm loving some of the names in here. Fuzzy Socks, that's fantastic. Misfit Toys. Excellent. Um, this is going to be available December 3rd on the website. I am a fan of Lights Lacquer. I often wear her polishes, especially on my toes, because I do a dip powder. Again, sometimes I do bring in a regular nail polish if there's something that I really, really love. But I do like her polishes. And that green, that sparkly green, that looks so pretty and festive. Right, and then speaking of some influencer brands, so Jackie Ina has Forever Mood. And so she has for holiday some candle duo sets that are coming out. So we have, these are $74 each. Is the Slay Season duo and then also the Naughty and Nice duo. These are available now. So I will have them linked down below. Um, we are a fan of candles in this household, but I actually, I was really excited because in that PR haul I recently did on Instagram, I got three candles from Otherland Co. They are a brand that's new at Sephora and um, they asked if they could send me a few candles and I was like, yes please. So they sent over three of them and so it might sound very strange, but like tonight we, we literally, Oh, the things that make you excited in 2020. But um, both Mitch and I were very excited over these candles coming because I swear he likes candles more than me and I like candles. But we had a small one from the Studio McGee line from Target that I had purchased a while ago. It was just like a little mini one. We literally burned it starting from like 9.30 in the morning through the night. So, because it was... I mean, it was about ready to be gone, but we're like, let's just burn it all day and then we'll feel good about starting a new candle. So tonight we're starting a new candle. So keep me in your thoughts. It looks like I missed an eyeshadow palette. Hello, Samantha. This is, oh, another one from Violet Voss. I feel like we had one from Violet Voss last week too. This is the Tie-Dye 4 palette. Okay. 12 shades, a mix of vivid pops of color and rich neutrals for your tie-dye obsession for $36. I personally do not have a tie-dye obsession. Um, this, you know, I like that there's some neutrals in here with like that bottom row with the browns to kind of, you know, tie in all of the color in here, but definitely don't feel like I need this one. And then I did see this new release on Indie Makeup Spotlight. So again, all of the uh, Instagram pages that I'm reading from are linked down below. This is run by Amy Loves Makeup. 
and these are some new products that are coming from Danessa Myricks, the new Twin Flames Multichrome Pigments. All I see right now is coming soon, but it says that these are for eyes and face. These look insane. Like, those swatches of these, these look absolutely insane. I mean, they're not usually products that I go for myself very often, but I mean... Just to even have one in your collection, just if you have that day where you're like, I will go feel a little bit on the crazy side, like, whoa. Literally, as I was saying that, there has been an update. It's going to be available tomorrow on the website, so um, it should be up by the time this video goes live. It says, highly pigmented, multi-chrome liquid shadow that can be used in eyes and face, designed to be both waterproof and smudge-proof in 10 multicolor shades. All right, definitely let me know your thoughts on that one. And then just to finish it off, we have a couple new brand announcements. Again, always weird when we have this happen because it just doesn't happen a lot. But, um, and these are new beauty brands and skincare brands. So we have 1212 Gateway by Katherine McBroom will be available December 12th. And that is skincare. Okay. Um, I'm not going to lie. I don't know who that is, but I was reading through the comments and I think it's, she's with... I don't really know. I'm going to like sound very strange when I say this, but the Ace family, and I don't know the Ace family, but I feel like the only time I hear about them is for like really bad things. So I'm probably going to skip on that. Probably don't need that vibe in my life. But uh, then the other one we have from Carmen Electra. I mean, who, who saw that coming? Not me. So Carmen Electra is launching Go Go Skin Care. And she launched first with a kit. The three-step system includes three products, Glow, Awaken, and Nourish, for $149.95. That is very expensive. Um, again, three products in there. It's not like it's just one. But it's supposed to visibly reduce wrinkles, tighten fine lines, rejuvenate, hydrate, brighten dark spots, fight off acne and blemishes, boost your radiance. Oh, okay, then, I mean, Carmen Electra definitely takes me back. To my like mtv days and everything and also <laughs> did anyone else have these she had workout tapes that came out when i was in college and this is when like i was always buying like dvds usually dvds at the time vhs's were already you know getting to be not cool so i'd buy like workout dvds and carmen electra had one but it was all about like you know it was like dancing but it was like being sassy at the same time I mean, is it a coincidence that I met my husband in college? Do I have Carmen Electra to thank? I don't know. I don't know. Apparently, I her workout tapes did something. So, I mean, there's that. Do I need her skincare? I'm not necess I'm not I'm not really sure. I just bought some new stuff in in my Ulta order that I'm really excited about. So, probably going to pass on these new lines here, but that is it though. I'm pretty sure that's everything for this week. I feel like that was kind of a long one. I probably should have gotten that glass of wine. Okay. Let me know your thoughts on everything that we discussed. What are you most excited for? What are you not so interested in? Did you do any shopping on Black Friday, Cyber Monday? Let me know in the comments. Other than that, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give this one a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.